So you spend any time making music at home or in a studio, you'll appreciate the importance of arming yourself with the best studio monitors you can stretch to. It's a familiar scenario, you spend hours working on a track and after fine tuning the mix, you're pretty happy with how it sounds, but then you listen to it somewhere else, in a different studio, through your phone or on your car stereo, over PA speakers in a club, and the mix sounds utterly awful. If this is a fair description of your experience today, then it could be time to upgrade your studio monitoring setup. Sound like you? My expert guide to the best studio monitors is a great place to start. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these studio monitors, you can check out the links in the description below. Going right away in the first spot, we have the famous yellow speaker cones of KRK, which is the KRK Rokit RP7 G4. Aesthetically, the new rockets are chips of the old block, featuring the trademark yellow Kevlar LF cones, with the new models also having yellow Kevlar HF units as well. The amplification is now class D as opposed to the class AB design previously used, and there's also a brick wall limiter. Our review models is the Rocket RP7, a new size for monitors in this series with a 7-inch LF driver joining the 1-inch tweeter. Previously, the mid-sized near field used the 6-inch LF driver, but still at 339mm high, the RP7 retains the compact enclosure and is only marginally taller than its predecessors. It still fits comfortably within a typical desktop or a mixer-based setup. A new low resonance design, the yellow Rokit logo, there's now an embossed logo on the bass port, has been removed from the enclosure. There's a new look baffle too, with a shaped letterbox bass port giving the RP7 a very slick professional look. The RP7's mid-range sounds a bit reserved for my tastes. Ultimately, we plumped for a moderate EQ boost, plus 1 decibel at 3.5 kHz and 10 kHz. It is to the RP7's credit that we have the option to make these adjustments, and there's also a handy iOS and Android app if you're in need of some help with setup. They will help you with orientation and also analyze pink noise so your equalizer adjustments are more effective. The Rocket RP7 is a very decent monitor. Overall, it is well built and there are more than enough options for tweaking this setup so that the Sonics are optimized for the room and, crucially, for your own personal taste. Should you buy them? There is always a sense of trepidation when a seasoned classic is remade. KRK continues innovating and offering studio monitors that feel perfect for the hobby producer. Even a seasoned professional will enjoy the new range of options. This new generation of KRK5 is a hit, unlike the many abysmal movie remakes that we've had to endure over the years. If you are looking to buy a pair of 5-inch studio monitors, the Rocket 5G4 should be high on your list of options. It would be a shame to make a video about the best studio monitors without including one of the most impressive studio monitors out there, the Atom Audio T7B. The Atom Audio T7Bs are amazing monitors, with few faults. The worst I can say is that the bass is a little overhyped, but this can be easily adjusted to your liking by the LF knobs on the back. In fact, it shouldn't be possible for bass to sound as full and defined as it does on the speakers, and yet it does. While Atom Audio is not that experienced and renowned name in the industry, their innovative German engineering is reliable and builds their reputation. The popularity is widely increasing among music professionals and at present they are a premium manufacturer. The T7B has a fairly impressive frequency response. Its 7-inch woofer can reach down to 39Hz, while the ribbon tweeter can deliver up to 25kHz. A pair has an SPL rating up to 110 decibels, which is more than fair for near-field use. For what it's worth, the T7B is an exceptionally designed monitor. It has some weight to it, it feels solid, and as an added benefit, they look great. The speaker is rear-ported, and they've flared the port exit to reduce any amount of port noise that may have been an issue otherwise. Atom Audio's patented UART accelerated ribbon tweeter provides sparkling highs. The tweeter has a broad, balanced dispersion pattern which is backed up by precise waveguide, widening the monitor's sweet spot. You'll be able to hear the drums knocking in your hip-hop beats with these monitors. 
they are capable of reaching an impressive 110 decibel in volume, so cranking up the mixes isn't an issue. Overall, you can't go wrong with these monitors. Next up at number 3, we have the one of my favorite studio monitors, the JBL 104. Designed with home recording, podcasting and portability in mind, the JBL 1 Series 104 studio speakers deliver a lot of performance for not a lot of cash. As you'd expect from JBL, I've always gotten seriously impressed with the sound reproduction, which is both balanced and accurate across a wide frequency range. The best part about these monitors is the Bluetooth 5 connectivity, which makes them versatile too. One minute they're at the heart of your studio and the next they can be in the kitchen streaming from your phone. A great choice for lots of situations. The monitors are very well made and finished and the molded ABS cabinet incorporates a rubberized base, which is ideal for desktop positioning, keeping the monitors nice and stable. Given their compact size, you might want to put them on a shelf or stand to get them up to ear height. The GBL 1 Series 104 squeezes in a 4.5 inch woofer into a great design. Ideally suited for workspaces where space is at a premium. Backing up the streamlined design is impressive sound quality. Clean and well defined, these also perform very well at loud volumes. At lower volumes, the balance isn't as tight. If you like working at the louder volumes and need to conserve space in your home, studio, these should be high on your list of options. The GBL Series 104 are not the cheapest monitors available, but you do get excellent value for money. Component quality is high and these are a durable set of speakers. You might be able to save some money by purchasing cheaper monitors, but you'll end up spending more in the long run. On the fourth place, we have the Mackie CR3X, which offers amazing balance between price and quality. The Mackie CR3X promises to give you high quality flat sound at an affordable price. A compact 3 inch sized woofer makes it a good choice for a small studio or those without the need or for epic volume. With a few extra features built in for extra flexibility, it aims to please both the beginner and professional. Does it succeed? You bet it does. The Mackie CR Series CR3X is built well but does not compare to some more expensive options. While rugged and offering a decent amount of heft, they are not overbearing in weight. This is to be expected at the price range. That said, the speakers notably lack a USB audio connection or a Thunderbolt port, limiting their connectivity somewhat. The 3-inch woofer is well suited for a smaller studio or for near-field listening. The frequency response of 80Hz to 20kHz in minus 3 decibel makes these able to represent a good range of frequencies for clear sound. At 97 decibels, these are reasonably loud, especially when you consider their size. There is no denying these are good value. With decent sound and some clever features, you will be hard pressed to find another studio monitor at this price point that offers as much as the Mackie CR3X monitors give. Coming in the fifth place, the iconic monitors of Yamaha. We have the Yamaha HS8. Yamaha has been in the audio game for a long time. The Yamaha HS8 studio monitors offered to be the replacement for the much loved NS10 studio monitors. With an 8 inch woofer, it's designed for larger studios and for the people that have a need for deeper and punchier bass. Sound quality is amazing on the HS8, especially when compared to the smaller HS5 model. The difference in the low end is like night and day. The low end has a meaty and satisfying thumb that handles bass well. You can comfortably run these without a subwoofer. If you like bass heavy music, this will satisfy you. But it's not all about the low end. The mids and highs are also great. Mids are warm with plenty of depth. The highs are crisp and clean. Balance across the frequencies is also solid with a nice flat response. For those mixing and mastering their own music, you'll be able to hear where your mix needs work. There is no denying that Yamaha knows what they are doing. There are speakers out there that cost two or even three times the price of these and still don't offer the same level of clarity and precision. Should you buy? This comes down to the size of your studio and your needs. For smaller studios, the Yamaha HS8 speakers are overkill. These speakers are big. Finding a comfortable spot for them may be difficult. But the Yamaha HS8 is a great option for those with a larger studio space. It's also ideal for lovers of bass. 
Yamaha once again shows why it has a reputation as one of the leaders in the studio monitor space. Last but not least, on the sixth spot, we have the PreSonus Aries E3.5. The PreSonus Aries E3.5 is a compact studio monitor that is perfect for smaller studio spaces. An attractive and affordable choice that delivers excellent sound quality. The PreSonus Aries E3.5 has a lot going for it in the sound department. This small studio monitor manages to deliver an excellent balance across all frequencies. The response is clean and clear. The highs are impressive without any tinniness to the top end. The mids also sparkle without any muddy tones. The low end is smooth but doesn't offer a lot of depth. Considering this is a 3.5 inch speaker that isn't surprising. If you need a more substantial low end response, you'll need to look at larger monitors or invest in a subwoofer. The low price might lead you to think that the quality isn't great. That couldn't be further from the truth. The PreSonus Eros 3.5 is sturdy and well constructed. Another excellent feature for the PreSonus Eros E3.5 is the understated design. The matte black vinyl coating is subtle and won't attract scratches or fingerprints like other glossy coatings. Should you buy? Compact monitors often fall short in one area or another. It's hard to come across one that delivers on all fronts. The PreSonus Eris E3.5 is as close to perfect as you can get. It gives you excellent sound quality that delivers a flat response suitable for producers. Tuning options and extra flexibility in connection options are further benefits. Once you factor in the budget price, it becomes very easy to recommend the Eris E3.5. Alright guys, that's it from me on this video. Thank you so much for watching by the end. If this video was somewhat helpful, then please leave a like below. And if you have any question about the products mentioned in this video, then drop a comment down below in the comment section and I will get back to you on the next video. Peace out.